Now, Burundi protest organizers on Saturday called for a two-day halt to demonstrations against President Pierre Nkurunziza's move to seek a third term. They accuse him of violating the constitution and endangering a peace deal that ended the civil war in 2005. There have been six straight days of protests in the capital Bujumbura, with numbers dwindling in the last few days. The presidency has called the protests an insurrection. Nkurunzinza said Friday those found guilty of involvement would face severe sanctions. Civil rights groups say at least six people have been killed during the protests and dozens injured. On Friday, three people, including two policemen, were killed in grenade attacks at a police station in the capital's central, central market and Kamenge neighborhood. CCTV's Jane Keo is in Bujumbura. Well, police say two people have been arrested in connection with those attacks, but so far it's still unclear whether they are linked to the protests. The policemen killed in Kamenge area were on patrol when a group of men hurled a grenade at them. Authorities say at least 600 people have been arrested, with 250 cases sent for prosecution and 150 people being questioned. According to the prosecutor's office, those charged will be tried for taking part in what they say is an uprising and will face five years to life imprisonment if found guilty. Already President Pierre Nkurunzinza has warned of severe sanctions and appointed a judiciary commission to investigate what it describes as the insurrectional movement. The commission has a month to provide its findings. This comes as the U.S. and the U.N. continue to pile pressure on the incumbent. Well, the U.S. has warned it could impose targeted sanctions, while the U.N., which accuses Nkurunzinza's government of engaging in a brutal quackdown, says, and I quote, the government will not succeed in quashing dissent. Organizers of the protests have announced a two-day break. They say the protests will resume next week. Jane Keo, CCTV, Bujumbura, Burundi.